Hey guys and welcome back to another video and I hope you are okay on that side of the screen and I really love the colors of the setup. Usually I record on blue but today all red as you can see the computer and the setup. Now on this particular video we are going to take a look at 64 gigabytes of RAM from S3 Plus, the gaming edition which is Dragon Heart and I will leave down below all the links for the components of this computer. We have done several videos about it so some links right over here, how to assemble it in 10 minutes and things like that. But the question is, should you get 8 gigabytes, 16, 32 or 64 gigabytes of RAM for your machine? And hopefully I can answer that on this video. Besides that, we are going to see some pretty things as well that these RAM sticks can do in terms of OLED effects, but more towards the end. Now, in terms of usage, first of all, we will need to uh, check out how we use our computer, what we use it for, what kind of software do we use so that we can make our decision in terms of purchase 8, 16, 32 or 64. Now, if you are a user that will only use the computer for Word, Excel and PowerPoint and things like that, then I would suggest 8 gigabytes. But if you plan to play some games, then let me give you an example, real life example, Witcher 3, which is a demanding game, uh, as you guys know. And as you can see in terms of RAM, it will get roughly up to 7.3 gigabytes of usage. And there are similar games that will be more or less the same. So I would say that if you plan to do some gaming, then I would say 16 is the minimum that you should get and probably the sweet spot for gaming and the regular usage of a computer. Now, let me also add here that for the last 10, 12 years, I've been working with a software which is After Effects. It's just awesome. It's my favorite software. And when we opened for the first time, which I remember a few years ago when I did it, it's scary because it's completely uh, empty and we don't know what to do. But once we learn how to do it, then it's just awesome. I will leave a link down below for my portfolio, which I've got on Video Hive. Uh, family of Envato templates of After Effects that I create from scratch and it's just an awesome experience. And that is the only software that I've used over the years that will take full advantage. Well, not full advantage, but will absorb a lot of RAM, which I will show in just a few moments. So, working with 32 gigabytes of RAM in a project which the timeline is roughly 1 minute and 30 seconds, as you guys can see right over there on screen, once I start to preview the project, what happens is that uh, it will start consuming RAM and in no time it will absorb roughly 27 gigabytes of the available 32 gigabytes of RAM. And it will not get the 32 just as a safety measure because we will need RAM for the system. And After Effects uh, with the software will work really well and will stop right there. But this means that I can almost preview that whole project. And you might say, hey Robert, 32 gigabytes of RAM is not enough to preview all of it. No, there are ways that we can confirm this. I can check the preview of the project on a part and then check another part and we can work around like that. I've done that in the past and there's nothing wrong with it. Uh, it takes a little bit more time, but that's the downside. Have in mind that we are talking about projects that are created by me as you might create your own. When we are creating from scratch, uh, we start adding elements and elements and what happens is that we need to preview to see if every single frame is correct, to see if everything is great so that the customer at the end will get a product that will work as it is. Swapping to 64 gigabytes of RAM from S3 Plus, uh, what happens is that on the same project, as you guys can see easily, it will get roughly 54 to 57 gigabytes of RAM usage. And this means that it will absorb 1.3 minutes timeline, absorb almost the 64 gigabytes. And once we start playing with it, it will go easily to the 57, leaving a margin right over here. I would say that we could, with 64, go up to almost two minutes in a project similar to this. So in terms of RAM usage, in my opinion, 
this is one of the softers that will take advantage of it. Honestly, I would like to hear your opinion, guys. What softer do you use? How much RAM do you have? How much RAM are you thinking of acquiring? Even video editing, which I do a lot, it's difficult to, to get 64 just for that. It's, it's, it's a lot. But for After Effects, there's not the words a lot. And if you make a bigger project, let's say, five minutes then easily you will need 128 to be really comfortable or even higher which is not easy now move on to the things that are really interesting about any ram stick and the st plus dragon heart as which is led now i'll show you guys on screen really quickly what we can do i did download the software from asus which is the aura sync and although i'm using a biostar motherboard i was able to install the software no issues at all so regardless of the motherboard that you have you will be able to use the software to customize the colors of the RGB LEDs. You'll find basically seven different effects. The first one is a static one, just one color. We can select it and leave it red or leave it blue or whatever color we want. Then we have the breathing, which is my favorite one. And it's the one that I'm using right now. And I use it on most of my components. And we can select between one color or we can select, for example, random colors. Uh, it will go and change um, the colors as the effect works. Now the next is strobing, which is a little bit faster. Well, actually it's strobe. We have the same options that we had previously. And then we have color cycle with no options at all. It just goes uh, from one color to the other and, and so on and so forth. And, and that's about it. And then we have the rainbow, which um, similar to the color cycle, but we have some patterns that we can choose. So we will choose and then it will start to uh, do its thing which is called rainbow there's the uh, starry night which emulates some stars which looks actually really nice if you want something sparkling and uh, we can change the background we can blank it we can change the color of the the background and the color of the stars and so on and so forth so there are a lot that we can do and then we also have uh, options of music, four of them actually to, to be more precise, which will work according to the music that the computer is playing to the sound. So we can just select and then select also the pattern that we want to use and the uh, software will do the rest and display those colors in a nice effect. And guys, basically this is it. So as a conclusion, what I'd like to say is as everything in life, we will need to think how will we use the computer and what amount of RAM we will need to get to get our work done. But at the end of the day, you will make the decision of the amount that you need, the brand that you need. Hopefully this video was helpful to achieve that goal. And if it was, don't forget the usual and very appreciated right over here, thumbs up, which is right over there. My name is Roberto George and as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.